Hello and welcome everybody to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage and today we're going to be having a look at XRP. Before we jump into the price section, just want to say thank you for watching. If you're enjoying the content, please smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video. Leave us some feedback down below. Also in the description you'll find a link to Discord. Come check it out. It's free to join. Okay, so before we go into the subwave counting, I just want to go over sort of the general thing that I'm looking for here um on the macro side and basically we're still looking for that possibility that we could look you know for a three wave structure to the upside here alternatively it could even be a five wave move to the upside if we're looking for a bigger x wave here um however you know it hasn't given us a lot of indication that that's what's going on currently and the way that we are reacting here you know it's not very impulsive at the moment um so we also need to be aware that this x wave could actually be here and this um, this move to the upside just might not materialize. The alternative thing that I am keeping an eye on is, you know, we could start to argue, we could see something like a triangle play out here where this becomes an A, B, we get a three-wave move up here for a C, then we get a three-wave move down for a D, and then an E, and then we actually look to move down from there. So if we just remain range-bound here between this zone of this 30 cents, to this higher area here of this 55, uh, 55, 98, you know, we could potentially be setting up for just a lot of sideways action here where we get another smaller uh, move to the upside here to complete a C wave, then looking for the potential of a D and an E. So we'll have to see how this plays out, but you know, there is that still that potential there. So it becomes quite difficult when the moves become choppy like this, because you know, there are a lot of possibilities. So we're gonna go over both the bearish and the bullish um, option within this, and then we'll have to see how we um, react from sort of these key zones here. You know, we're, we're right within the typical support zone currently um, for this move to the upside. And if I throw this onto here, I will just show you what I'm talking about. Let me just change this over to there. So we can see we were right in this zone of this 50%. We've actually come down more towards this uh, 618 area. So, you know, potentially we could look for that push to the upside, looking for this move to actually continue up here in the C wave to the upside here. But we're going to discuss it. Like I said, we've got some bearish and some bullish potential here. So if we are looking for that potential of that C wave to the upside, you know, the way we'd be looking at it would be potentially looking for something like this to play out. So what we would have be arguing here is that potentially we have an A wave to the upside here, and we could have actually completed our um, our Y wave, or sorry, our B wave into this low already. And basically what we'd be looking for would be this move as a W, X, and a Y. So this would be a W here, get this X wave in the middle, and then basically another A, B, C pattern to complete you. So, you know, we can argue that we could potentially start to move to the upside from here. So what is what is um, the key zones for this? So there's two zones that I'm currently looking at. If we are looking for that bullish potential, what we need to hold is basically um, this zone here, this 3674 to this 3604. And what we would have to argue is because of the way the current structure is, you know, it's not very, um, we'd want to see an impulse in this, in this um, C wave here. And there just isn't that structure yet. It could develop, and that's what we're looking at here. Effectively, what we're looking for is that possibility that we've had. This is a one here. We're looking for this two here. So that's why I say this key, this support zone here, this 3674 to this 3604, we're looking for that bullish potential to the upside is going to be key. So if we do get a three waves move down here and we do manage to find support above this 3553 zone, you know, potentially we could be setting us up for a bigger five wave move to the upside. So we'd only get confirmation confirmation here of a... um of a bigger five wave structure here if we move up past this 40 cent 64 and we'd want to see that in a nice clean five wave move and then we'd be looking for the support to come in here at this 39.59 to this 38.44 and that would be looking for this potential of an additional fourth and a fifth if we do get this play out to the zone of this 41.74 to this 41.06 potentially we could look for a three wave move down and then potentially another push to the upside Obviously, this is um, just providing that we don't get any extensions within the waves. If we do get extensions, you know, potentially these target ranges could be higher. This is just working with just fit relationships. Okay, so 
if we're looking for that bullish potential, basically this is where we have to look at it. Um, you know, potentially you, we would have to look at this being a one, two, one, two. Uh, failing to hold these key zones is 35.53 and 34.73 would make this fall apart, which doesn't mean to say that, you know, we couldn't still see the C wave. It would just change how we are looking at the move. And I want to go over that now within the structure of this. So uh, in, within the other count, basically what we're looking at is that this is an ABC this is an X wave connector and then another ABC. So another, so basically a three, three, three move. So that's a W, X and a Y. What we would be looking for here is, you know, potentially we could actually move this X wave around. This X wave could actually complete into this high here. And then potentially what we have now is actually a bigger X wave in the middle here, which would be matching the um, the size really of this first W wave, if this is the case. What we'd be then looking for would be that potential that actually within here we are not completed. And what we're looking for is basically an, another C wave to the downside, where this becomes an A, this becomes a B wave into this zone, and we get another five wave move to the downside, or one, two, three, four, five, looking to potentially target out towards this 3292 range, and then the um, the one to one of this Y wave would actually be down here towards this thirty three sixty nine. So you know this is a possibility if we just get a three wave move down, which doesn't um, which doesn't get too out of hand. You know, potentially we could look at this thirty two ninety two to this thirty three sixty eight zone as a potential area that we could actually look to complete if we just have a move to the downside. We'd have to be careful, however, because any kind of a move past this 30 cent range um, would potentially mean that we have to start looking at the structure slightly different as potentially a series of ones and twos within the structure or alternatively as a diagonal to the downside. So we, we need to just be a little bit cautious within within the um, how the structure is at the moment. There is that potential, provided we hold this 3473, that we could see some upside. However, we need to bear in mind, you know, this could be, like I said, the X wave completed actually into this high, and then potentially we still have an ABC pattern, which could look to bring us back down to this 3292 zone. And if I just throw the um, other one on 3292, uh, let's see, was it 3292? 30, yeah, 3292 would be that one to one. Okay, just wanted to double check that. So that could actually bring us down here towards the 706 retracement, towards the 786 potentially as well, 702 rather. Um, you know, if we do actually look to break down, then potentially this could be a zone we look to actually revisit, or alternatively, you know, we could actually find support slightly higher in that golden pocket ratio which is this 30, or the area, which is this 34.49 to this 34.11. So that's will be key zones that I'm keeping an eye on. Um, if we do actually start breaking to the downside here, you know, potentially we could look to actually move down into those regions and then look for potential support to come in. Okay, so now I also want to talk about something else within this. Um, you know, it's not, it's not my preferred count, but uh, there is a way to potentially count this as a diagonal. This becomes a one, two, three, four, and a five into this low as an expanding diagonal. So if this move actually fails to develop and actually move back up past this 4330 line, you need to be a little bit cautious within you that, uh, you know, we don't have something like this developing as a wave one. We get a move up in a three wave structure for wave two, looking for rejection potentially between this 4113 to this 3868 region and then basically looking to um, move down in a bigger five wave structure. So it's gonna be key if we are looking for that bullish potential to actually get above these these highs, this 43.30, you know, we need to get back above there because really until we actually take even this high here of this 40.18, this in itself could become a one, two, and then we get a bigger drop down for a three, four, five. And then, you know, from that point, you'd have to start You'd have to start looking at some of this previous wave structure and going, well, is that a is that a one, two? This is another one, two here. We get a three, four, five, then we get another fourth and a fifth. So, you know, there's a couple of ways of looking at this. We need to just be a little bit uh, cautious within this wave structure until we actually break back above this, you know, this high of this 40, 40 cent 18. 
you know, th there's not a lot besides a three wave move currently at the moment here. This is just a three wave move and this could just fail and actually take this low again. So we need to just be aware of that fact. If we do look to maintain those key zones here, like I said, you know, potentially we could be setting up for a for a, a bigger move to the upside. Um, but really we need to hold, like I said here, these key zones of this 3604, 3553, and then this 3473. If we lose this 3553, that basically throws cold water on the whole move, and um, you know, then this structure falls apart at that point. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video, and leave us some feedback down below. Also in the description, you'll find a link to the Discord. Check it out, it is free to join us. As well as that, you will find affiliate links for both Primex, BT, and Bybit down there. Great exchanges that we use on a regular basis. If you don't have an account, using the affiliate link does help support the channel, and we do appreciate it. Everyone have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.